In this video, we'll learn how to read and write numbers up to 20. In this very first row, I have no cubes like these ones. There is no cubes in there, so there I have zero cubes, which is written as this in words, zero. In this row, I have one cube. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine, ten. So again, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which are represented by the cubes, by the number of cubes on this side. What we'll look at now is numbers that are bigger than 10. So in this block there are 10 cubes. If I add 10 to the 1 then I have 11. So what happens to this one here is this. So that one on the left is represents the block of 10 so there is one block of 10 and one single cube that number is read as 11 there is two so 10 and 2 is 12. 2, 12. Notice the difference between the two. 10 and 3 makes 13. So I just add 1 in front. So that makes 3 is turned into 13. Ten and four is fourteen. Just add the teen at the end. So four, fourteen. Ten and five is fifteen. So the spelling changes fifteen. 10 and 6 makes 16. 16. 10 and 7, 17. 10 and 8, 18. We have a T already in there, so we don't need to add an extra one. 10 and 9 makes 19 and then 10 and 10 together makes 20, 20. So going back to the numbers, we did 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. 
So all that we changed from the previous numbers up to 10 was adding a 1 in front, which represents a block of 10 every time. And the 10 became a 20. So one block is 10, two blocks is 20. Have a look at items around the house and try and count them. Whack the numbers again in digits and in words to help you practice and master the skills.